What's going on guys? It's Blue Deep Dive here and welcome to the 7th tournament. Getting so close to the champion tournament. And the match has begun. I hope you guys have been enjoying the tournaments. I'm very excited to see this Shinnok player. Man, Shinnok is one of those characters that if you know how to use him, it's a very, very powerful character. Especially with those, what I'm going to call fireballs that come from the ground. Right now, TJ doing a good job with Johnny Cage. Oh, out of nowhere, that x-ray comes into play. Changes the match. And it seems like it's going to give Serial pretty close to the first round. TJ is going to have to make a comeback. I'm not sure if he can do it. He's got to play smart. Play his cards right. But it can be done. Oh, very nice combo. Oh, and unfortunately, it's not going to be enough for TJ to come back. This match is getting intense. Who are you guys rooting for? Are you rooting for TJ? Are you rooting for Shinnok? Serial seems to be doing very well with Shinnok right now. A strategy that I keep seeing with Johnny Cage is, is after the Shadow Kick, they tend to throw that Fireball. It's a smart strategy. I'm so used to using Raiden that when I use Johnny Cage just to test him out, I was very surprised he didn't have like an overhead and low kick starter. He had like a medium to low kick. But TJ is definitely not going to lay down right now. Final round, fight! This match is very close. It's anybody's game. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Serial had some armor, but TJ just did too much damage, too many hits, and broke it. TJ is so close to victory, and so is Serial, who wants his first match. I mean, it's so mental when you get the first match. If you lose, you think that winning two matches, coming back, seems like a long journey. Oh, and it's gonna end with brutality. And TJ gets the first match. TJ going in with that brutality. Very unexpected. Showing, making a statement that he's gonna advance in the tournament. But I don't know. Serial is very dangerous with Shinnok. He nearly had that first match. It's so only time will tell. Round one, fight! And it has begun. Serial with that first hit gets that meter advantage. DJ already doing crazy combos with Johnny Cage. The first match seemed very close. It seemed to be in Serial's favor. But then TJ made that comeback, and he just couldn't be stopped. Oh, that x-ray! Once again, out of nowhere! Serial using all the tricks in the bag. Waiting for TJ to jump. Unblockable x-ray. He's bringing his A-game to the tournament. And right now, TJ's putting on the pressure. Ooh, I thought he was in a shadow kick there. Hope someone got a shot of that! Round two, fight! Right now, TJ has a really big advantage. He's got Serial in the corner. If he wins this round, he's advancing in the tournament. And he's going in there. Oh, shit. TJ's pressure is just too much. And he will be advancing in the tournament. I'd frame that. Johnny Cage wins. Flawless victory. Welcome back, guys. It's time for Fame Kills against Neon Reborn. So let's see what kind of characters they use. Oh, Neon's picking Jason. First Jason in one of my tournaments against a Melina. This should be a very interesting match.
Give up, Scott. Round one. Fight. <laughs> One thing that really caught my eye is Neon is using the slasher variation. I don't know about you guys, but a lot of my friends have been telling me the slasher is the best variation. And I've tried all the variations, and to be honest, it seems to be the best one. It has so much damage. Look at that x-ray combo, very nice. His uh, neutral square is much, has way more range in this variation. And he can also throw the machete. It's a big plus. Oh, it's getting down to the wire. And Fame Kills gets that last hit. Every time you're in a situation like that, you get so nervous. Really, you have to like, you have to keep calm and just capitalize on the mistake, or figure out what you're gonna do and just go 100% on it. You can't hesitate. After a while of playing. Every time I'm in that situation where there's like 5% 10% health and the next move is going to determine the match, you just got to stay calm and it works out for the best. Oh, very nice setup. Neon Reborn doing so much damage. Final round, fight! It seems like these guys are evenly matched. Who are you guys rooting for? Are you rooting for Jason? First Jason in my tournaments. Oh, there's some trolling going on. What's going on here? Fame kills getting very comfortable. Trying to get into Neon's head. I can troll whenever I want. I wouldn't recommend that because Jason is very dangerous. Especially in this variation. is gonna get this first match just so close right now neon reborn has a corner advantage oh he gets it once again can he capitalize on it? very very smart he was gonna go into that mode where he had infinite armor for a short amount of time but it just didn't come out and there it is neon reborn gets the first match let's see who gets the second match Jason wins. Faction kill. And the first match goes to Neon Reborn. Let's see what he does in the second match. He can get this second win for the special forces. Round one. Fight. Very nice first hit from Fame Kills. Gets that extra meter. It's very, very smart to change up your first attack. I mean, it's so easy to just not pay attention and always do the same move in the beginning of the match. Oh, and Neon Reborn using a different variation, going with the unstoppable variation. There it is, Neon Reborn has been brought back to life. But he can he do something with his second life? I'm not sure. Oh, fame kills. Guess that first round. All that meter wasted for Neon Reborn. A lot of you guys who don't use Jason, every time you use the unstoppable variation, when you you lose a round, your your bar of meter determines how much life you get back. So every round you start out with no meter. Something to keep in mind. Unless you win the round. Oh, fame kills is going crazy. Was switching variations a mistake? I don't know. And he gets the second match. We are going to a match three. The big question is, is Neon Reborn going to stay with that variation, or is he going to go back to Slasher? And here we are in the final match. Only one player can advance. 
And here we go. The match has begun and Fame Kills gets that first hit. Well, that slasher variation throwing that machete, very powerful. Very nice teleport from Fame Kills. I'm not really sure what Fame Kills has to do to win this match. I think he just gotta keep rolling because I notice Neon Reborn doesn't really block the roll. If you're a Neon, you just gotta do what you did in the first round. Go with those slasher variation combos. Throw the machete here and there. One thing I see Neon not capitalizing on is he doesn't punish that teleport. Right now, Fame Kills, very smart using that teleport to his advantage. Know that he's not gonna get punished. Same with that roll. Oh, Neon Reborn is in a bad spot right now. Fame Kills just has to win this round to advance in the tournament. I'm so excited for Tuesday. I really want to try out Tanya. See those fatalities, her move sets, her variations, her costumes. I hope they make costumes for Goro, Jason, and Tanya, because like all the DLC characters don't have an extra costume. Very nice projectiles from Fame Kills, and he will be moving on in the tournament. And here we are, we got Joshua against Rondarius. Oh, it was a very interesting matchup, Liu Kang against Kano. Here we go. I will end your miserable life. Like hell you will. I will show you hell. Round one, fight. Who is gonna get that first hit? I'll run Darius with that first hit. I don't see many Liu Kangs in my tournaments either. Let's see how this Liu Kang turns out. Joshua has used Sub-Zero in the past. So it's very surprising that he's not going with Sub-Zero once again. Run Darius, trying to slow down the match, getting those grabs in, getting those pokes in. I mean, some players' strains start to slow down the match, start making you guess. It's a good strategy. Oh, and there's that combo startup. Joshua gets the first round. Round two, fight. Also, what do you guys think about that DLC costumes? I like the Kano Revolution, I can't wait for that MK1 costume. You know, some of you know that MK1 is my favorite MK out of all the series. You know, call me crazy. MKX is definitely up there on some of my top favorite MKs for sure. Oh, nice attempt with that bicycle kick. Run Darius is just going too crazy. Oh shit, look at that damage. There it is. Rondarius gets the second round. <laughs> Final round fight. This doesn't look good for Rondarius just because of the fact that Joshua has full X-ray meter. We're gonna see crazy combos or an X-ray. Oh, he's punishing Rondarius. Rondarius being too aggressive right now. Joshua just needs to keep putting on that pressure. He's got to do that in order to win this round. I mean, you got to do what works. Oh, nice enhanced uppercut. Things are not looking good for Rondarius, but he can still come back. Don't count him out yet. Oh, and Joshua gets the first match. Fatality. 
that last match was pretty close. I can only assume this one will be closer. Let's see what happens in this match. Oh, and still nobody gets that first hit. Who's gonna get it? Oh, and Rondarius gets that extra meter. Joshua doing a good job. Getting some mix-ups. Capitalizing on his combos. Throwing those uppercuts. Rondarius playing very smart right now. Knowing when to block. I mean, that last match, he was getting pretty good combos with his enhanced meter. And Joshua is going crazy. Forcing Rondarius to break. I don't think he should have broke, to be honest. Oh, he's got corner advantage. Oh, immediately Josh uses that EX. Very smart. I mean, you can't get trapped in the corner with any character. Ooh, nice, nice block right there. I thought Rondarius was going to get the, the grab. Get some corner pressure. I mean, you gotta do what Rondarius is doing right now. When you have low health, you just gotta keep fighting. You can't stop fighting, you have to get that meter. And the other player starts to get nervous. Oh, shoot! Very, very close. Oh, and Rondarius oh, gets that first round. Very, very clutch. Round two, fight. Who is gonna get this second round? Oh, already Josh going crazy in the corner. Rondarius needs to get out of there. Oh shit, Rondarius. Oh. Oh crap, Josh is so lucky that Rondarius didn't have any other meter bars. Because that would have been a 50%er to 40%er. Oh, very nice combo. It seems like every time Rondarius slows down the game, that's when he's best at. Josh needs to keep moving with those combos. Make the game go by fast. Rondarius is just putting Joshua back in his game. Slowing the game down. Going with those grabs. Oh, nice EX. Ooh, jo Joshua wins this round. He's gonna advance in the tournament. This round is crucial for Rondarius. Oh man, very nice combo, 29%. Oh, who are you guys rooting for? I don't know what's happening to Rondarius. He's got to wake up right now. He's got to watch how much meter Joshua has. Josh has been very smart using that meter. Oh shoot, Joshua's got the corner. Oh, look at that combo. Oh, that uppercut. This is so close. I don't know who's going to win. Oh, no. Rondari's going to get out spammed from the... I don't know who's going to win. Oh, shit. Oh, and Rondarius pokes himself to victory. Nothing personal. I thought he was going to get out zoned for a minute at the last 10 seconds. And that was a smart thing to do, but Rondarius, like a jumping bean all over the place. Both of these players have a win, but only one can advance. And here we are, the third match. Oh, and Joshua gets meter immediately with a freaking 36 percenter. Rondarius needs to watch out for those enhances. And Joshua just needs to keep putting on the pressure. Seems like he always puts Rondarius in a bad position when he puts on that pressure. Oh, this match is getting close. Oh! That combo was pretty sick. Putting Rondarius in the corner. But don't count out Rondarius just yet. We've seen him make comebacks. You guys have seen it. Will we see another? Oh, not this time. This match is getting intense. Only one player can move on. Will these players try to outzone each other? Oh, nice blocking, but that uppercut does business right there. Rondarius does have full meter. He has full x-ray meter. Do you guys think he's going to use it? I don't know. I think Rondarius hasn't decided yet. 
Oh, I can't do that. That can be punished easily. Oh no. Looks like it's over for Andarius. Oh, and it is. Very great games from Josh. And Josh will be moving on in the tournament. And welcome back guys, we got Tough Gun against King Gambler, this Raid and Aaron Black matchup is going to be pretty sick. Gonna put up a fight Raiden? What do you think? Think I'm about to make some money. Round one, fight! And the match has started, who's going to get that first hit? Who are you guys rooting for? I know Aaron Black is very popular among the community. Very nice attempt to slide, but that gun just too fast. All oh, the combos are coming out. I just don't know. Tough gun has done so much damage. I'm not sure if King Gambler can come back in this round. But I mean, we saw Rondarius make comebacks like that. We just never know. Oh, could it be? That poke is all Tough Gun needs. I could just feel King Gambler was gonna make a comeback. For some reason, it just didn't happen. Oh my goodness, Tough Gun. I was about to say, Tough Gun's got that corner with Raiden. I mean, I know those possibilities with Raiden, Raiden in the corner. It's just so crazy. You do 50 percenters, 49. Just King Gambler is simply getting overwhelmed. He's gonna have to get it together in the second match. Raiden wins. Faction kill. Tough Gun was going crazy in that match. Unleashing the Elder God's will. But can he do it again and get that second match? Or will Aaron Black get that victory? and get his pay from Shang Tsung. Have a care, Outworlder. I'm an Earth Realmer, remember? Not in my eyes. Round one, fight! Here we go, Tough Gun again with that first hit. Very nice use of that meter. Tough Gun was just so quick, doing all those crazy combos. He's gonna do it again. Oh, very nice. Tough Gun is just a beast right now. The King Gambler's got the corner. And I don't care if you're a beast or not. When you're in the corner, you're at a disadvantage. How is he going to get out? Oh, and he uses that meter. Very effective. The best way to get out of the corner is to use an enhanced move. Usually, all enhanced moves have armor. and can push your opponent away. So you got to get out of there quick. Going down to the wire, King Gambler needs that last hit, and there it is. Stop bleeding, Tough down. Gun was so close to connecting that EX. If he did, that would have been game two. That would have been the round, excuse me. Oh, Tough Gun's got the corner. Oh, I thought he did. King Gambler just outsmarting Tough Gun right now. All these setups from Tough Gun is putting King Gambler on his toes. Making him, forcing him to bring out his A-game, or he's going to get whooped. Oh, and there it is. Those combos are coming out for King Gambler. Oh, very nice slide. King Gambler gets the second match. We're going to a match three. Only one player can advance. Aaron Black wins. Fatality. Welcome back guys. King Gambler of course in the last match. 
Both of these players are going to collide one more time to decide who will be moving on. And Mortal Kombat has just happened. Who will get that first hit? Again, Tough Gun getting that first hit. It's a tremendous advantage when you're getting games this close. So is the corner and King Gambler is going in there. Who are you guys rooting for? Do you want King Gambler to advance? Do you want Tough Gun? Only one player can go to the finals. Both of these players are just bringing out their combos. This match is turning upside down. Oh, very nice punish. King Gambler's got to mix it up. Round two, fight. Tough Gun is just playing very smart right now. Knowing when to block that dive kick. Or not dive kick, that uh, that drop kick from Aaron Black. Oh no, Tough Gun's got the corner. That displacer variation can definitely put any character on their toes. Oh, nice enhance is going to do major damage. Oh, it seems like Tough Gun was just trying to get corner position. He's got it. I don't know, it could be over very soon. Oh, and there's that brutality. Only one person can move on, and that is the Thunder God. Welcome back guys, we got TJ against Fame Kills, it should be a very good match. I can't see one of these players losing, but it's about to happen. Round one, fight. Who are you guys rooting for? I know there's a lot of Molina players out there, there's gotta be some Johnny Cage players out there too. And somehow TJ got that first hit, this match is just moving so fast. Oh, very nice block. One thing I notice is TJ immediately is punishing fame kills every time he blocks that roll. Very nice. Oh shoot, fame kills got the corner. I just keep assuming every time someone gets near uh, interactable they're going to use it. Very nice first round, very close. What is Fame Kills gonna do to win the second round? Fight. The winner of this match will be going to the finals. And one thing I'm very excited for, guys, is the final tournament of the season. Getting all the champions in one tournament. That's always so exciting. And if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a long time, you'll know that I like to do that in my tournaments. Usually, the last tournament is always the best. The crazy things always happen when champions fight together. So definitely look forward to that. EJ is not looking good right now. I saw you staring. Final round fight. Let's see what happens in this match. You know I'm not a Johnny Cage or Molina expert, but I face a ton of them. I can see what really works for them. Head it out. Oh, very nice combo from Fame Kills. Seems like he's paying attention, so every time DJ is not able to block, goes with that teleport. Oh, very nice. DJ is just going crazy in the corner, putting on that freaking pressure. Very nice. Oh, he's getting that mix up, that 50 50. One thing I noticed, Johnny Cage, is he doesn't need a meter burner grab. Oh, and that brutality seals a deal for match one. Johnny Cage wins. TJ ends the match with the brutality, making a statement. Round one, fight. Who's gonna get that first hit? Oh, and there it is, TJ getting that first hit. Game kills, going crazy with Molina. 
I think what TJ has to do to win this match, is he's gotta punish Molina's rolls and teleports very big time. And I think what Fame Kills has to do is do a lot of mix-ups and uh, go for combos to start with a low kick. Hope someone got a shot of that. Round two. TJ is so close for moving on to the finals. If he wins this round, it's all over. Fame Kills needs to do a lot of work. Needs to win this match to bring this to a match three. Right now, Fame Kills is just moving too quick for TJ. What's TJ gonna do about this? Is he gonna punish Molina? Or is he just gonna keep blocking? He's gotta attack. Oh, Fame Kills is in trouble. Oh, TJ is not giving up. Oh, a very nice round victory for Fame Kills. Down to the wire in the third round. TJ, trying to be smart, trying not to give too much life away, realizes that this round is important. Oh, nice Muta Burn. But I don't know if that was necessary. Maybe he's just trying to throw Fame Kills off her game. Maybe he's just trying to throw Fame Kills off his game. Oh, he's got corner pressure though. Oh shoot. Oh, very nice combo. Oh, that was very odd right there, that inhibits. I'm not sure. Their life is just about even. DJ is putting on some pressure. I don't know. And that's gonna do it. DJ will be moving on to the finals. Very close games. Johnny Cage wins. Fatality. Welcome back guys, we got Tough Gun against Joshua. One of these players will make it into the finals. You are a son to me. A son must choose his own path. So be it. Round one, fight! Who is gonna get that first hit? And there it is, Joshua. In that crazy combo. He had some very, very close games with Rondarius. He was able to be clutch enough to get that victory. He's doing some serious damage right now on Tough Gun. Tough Gun getting overwhelmed. He needs to get it together. We've all seen what he's capable of. Joshua is just too quick right now. Getting all those setups and making use of his meter. You know, I was very excited earlier in this tournament to see that Jason. I was kind of sad to see him go away. I really want to see a DLC character make it all the way. We've already seen that happen with Goro. But so far, I've only seen one Jason in my tournaments. You know, I hope uh, I see more. And right now, Joshua's got the corner. He's looking very bad with Tough Gun. He still has enough life to come back. Here's his chance. Oh, and that enhanced. Oh, Tough Gun. Oh, no, he's dead this time. I just can't tell. Like, all that meter. Liu Kang wins. Fatality. 
I'm not sure what Tough Gun's gonna do, but he's gotta mix it up, play differently, and see if we can get this second match to bring this to a match three. You are a son to me. A son must choose his own path. So be it. Round one. Fight. Right now, all the pressure is on Tough Gun. He needs to get this match to bring this to a match three. Josh up ahead by one match. Just needs two more rounds to make it to the finals. But when you're playing against a tough player like Tough Gun, that victory seems so far away, yet so close. It's not easy to win one of these tournaments. I know I see a lot of you guys in the comments. Oh, my Scorpion's better. My Liu Kang's better. It's, until you get into one of my tournaments, you'll see. It's tough. It's not easy. That's what's going to make Tournament of All the Champions going to be awesome. I can't wait. Ooh. Tough Gun going with that Enhance. I saw what he was trying to do, but... If you don't have enough life, that armor is not going to help you at all. Josh up ahead by one match. Josh up ahead by one round. Tough Gun really good with the mix-ups right now. I'm not sure if Josh is just gonna let Tough Gun win this last match. I'm not sure if Josh is gonna try to come back from this match. Because it's kind of pointless to use all that meter when you have that much health left. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Josh got full meter. Is he going to use an x-ray? Is he going to enhance his moves? I'm not sure. Oh, very nice from Tough Gun. Oh, Josh, he's trying to get Tough Gun in the corner. Raiden has so many good mix-ups and this grab is ferocious. You know, Tough Gun definitely has the tools to come back in this match. Joshua has that meter. Here, is it gonna go to waste? Oh, I don't know. And there it is. Tough Gun wins the second match. We are going to a match three. Raiden wins. Fatality. Who is going to win this third match? Tough Gun? Joshua? Only one player can make it to the finals. You are a son to me. A son must choose his own path. So be it. Round one. Fight. And this is the match. This is the match that's gonna decide who is moving on to the finals. Who will have a shot at going to the champion tournament. Will it be Tough Gun? Will it be Joshua? It can only be one player. Right now, Tough Gun's got the advantage. Health-wise and meter-wise. Oh, very nice to use that enhance. That back square circle move with Raiden is very powerful, very deadly. Ooh, and Joshua is bringing on the combos. Oh, very nice. I'm not sure if it's too late to use that meter, though. But you just gotta keep fighting. It seems it's like impossible to come back when you have like 5% health and the first one's right next to you poking at you. I mean, the pokes are so fast in MKX. The best thing you can do is do an enhanced move like that. Very nice from Tough Gun. Getting corner position. I mean, it's just so close right now. Both players are trying to get good mix-ups. So close right now. Joshua getting that combo. He is so close from advancing to the final round. I'm not sure what Tough Gun's gonna do. Oh, and there it is. That last uppercut sealed the deal. And Josh will be moving on in the finals.
Here we are in the finals. We got TJ against Josh. Only one player can win the tournament. Round one. Fight. Here it goes. This is the match that counts to move on to the champions tournament. TJ doesn't know how to respond to all these combos, these mix-ups. Got to use some armor and regroup. There we go. Oh, that was so close. You replace me at Raiden's side. Round two. Fight. Joshua has just been so strong in this tournament, so clutch. And he's going all out right now, bringing out those combos, all using everything that Luke King has. Very smart. I mean, that's why he's in the finals. And you know, TJ didn't come here by accident either. Ooh, TJ drops that combo, unfortunately. Ooh, and so did Josh. It looks like it's over. Oh no, it's not. Liu Kang wins. Fatality. Josh is up ahead by one match. What do you think? You think TJ got what it takes to come back? Both players skip the introductions. TJ going in there with that first hit. Check out that combo, 22%. Very, very nice. Josh is going in the corner. And you know what happens in the corner. You don't want to know. That's how bad it is. Ooh, very nice block from that grab. That would have been an extra 4 to 5%, I believe. Josh, doing very well. TJ needs to regroup. It'd actually be over if he doesn't figure things out right now. Josh got the red meter. Oh. And that fireball takes him out before he can actually use it. When Johnny Cage is in danger, all his moves do more damage than usual. Especially the fireball. Looks like TJ is trying to start things up. Every time he goes on the defense, he keeps getting uppercutted. Josh just knows when to pull that uppercut out. Ooh, very nice combo. He's got Josh in the corner, I don't know. Oh, he didn't know what to do right there, he just froze. Just gotta keep putting on that pressure. And Josh, one round away from victory in the tournament. Could this be it? Oh, he drops it. And that's gonna do it. Josh takes it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tournament. If you guys think you got what it takes to win one of my tournaments, read the description on how to join. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.